Okay, let's have three people over here. Three over here. Two down here. Can I get a ball? Two. Okay, so we're going to start out just down here. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, so we're going to start out. Let's just go ahead and we're just going to do work on this line right here. Let's go ahead, toss and jog. So we're going to toss and then jog. Good, toss. Okay, after a while, I'm going to say set to yourself, set outside. Now, what I want you to set, okay, set, wait, stop, 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 stop. Let's have you go back there. So I want you to set to yourself, and I want you to set outside, okay, and set a high out of system ball. Okay, we're going to learn how to hit this ball in a second, but before that, I want us to learn how to set this ball. Set to ourself, and set our side. Okay, good. Set to ourself, and set outside. Awesome. Okay, let's hold the ball. Okay, that's good. And then after a while, I'm going to go ahead and say one contact setting. Okay, one contact setting. Okay, ready? So one contact setting. Okay, good. Nice high out of system ball. Nice set. So like I was saying earlier, keep setting. Like I was saying earlier, if you want to play high level club, and you want to play high level college, or even on the national team, you have to know how to set. So you can't just say, oh, I'm not a setter. I don't need to know how to set. No, every single person in high-level volleyball needs to know how to set. So we're going to learn how to set before we attack. Okay, that's awesome. Let's hold the ball. What's, what's your name? Addie. Addie. Addie, are you a setter? Yes. Okay, Addie, let's have you set right here. Okay, I want to work on two things we're learning how to do out of system setting. Okay, the first is going to be body position. Everyone say body position. Everyone say body position. body position. Thank you. A lot better. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to position ourselves underneath the ball. Simple concept, right? All right. But if as you can see, these sets were a little too low for out of system. Okay. The reason they're too low is because we're taking the ball way too far out in front. It is physically impossible to set an out of system ball if you take the ball out here. Okay. You're always going to have a low trajectory if you take the ball out in front. But if you position yourself, underneath the ball, you can achieve a high trajectory. And that is a great out of system trajectory. Okay? Because out of system is when stuff goes crazy, right? And then maybe the setter can't get to the ball, so you're going to have to step in. Okay? You can't just go, I'm not a setter. Right? No, you have to step in and make the play. Do you want to play high level volleyball? Okay? So everyone has to know how to set. Okay? So the first thing is what? Body position. Okay? Getting our butt underneath the ball. Addy, right? Is it Addy? Is I said it right? Okay. So Addy, go ahead and catch the ball. Okay, so this is great body position. Okay, she's at a neutral point, getting her body underneath. Okay. The second thing is going to be body together. Everyone say body together. Body together. So in order to achieve, okay, good control and enough power to make an out-of-system set, we're going to have to use our legs and our arms together. Okay, so we just can't attack the ball with our hands, okay, with these forks, right? Okay, and we just can't use our legs. We have to use both together. All right, so I need everyone to extend your arms and extend, lock out your legs. Even you too, Addie. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to bend your elbows and your knees at the same time. Okay, kind of like you're loading a spring. Okay, awesome. Okay, and now in slow motion, let's extend both at the same time. All right, and that's setting. All right, I know you're like, no duh, Coach Tom. I'm telling you right now, Everyone is not using your body together, okay? We're not using our legs and not using our arms together. So let's try to do that, okay? So we're going to watch Addie here. So she has great body position. Now I want you to watch her legs and her arms working together. No pressure, just everyone's watching, okay? So Addie's going to set a nice high out of system ball. Can everyone see how her body worked together? Let's watch it again. She has good body position and she has great body together. Okay, here we go. Okay, excellent job. So she has the power and the control from using her full body. Okay, so we're going to go and get into groups of five. And we're either going to be on the 10-foot line or the end line. Okay, and we're going to work on out-of-system setting because we all have to know how to do it in order to be a, a high-level hitter. Good. Body position underneath the ball. Body together. Awesome. Body position. Body together. Body position, body together.
Okay, great. Maintaining body position and body together. Let's do one contact. One contact. Here we go. One contact. Let's go. One contact. Body position. Good. That was excellent. Body together. We all want to play high level volleyball. We got to learn how to set. One contact. One contact. Position ourselves underneath. One contact. Excellent. All right. Body position underneath, ladies. Body together. It's good. It's just a little too far out in front. Let's try to get a little bit more underneath to get a high trajectory. Good. Good. That's a lot better. A little too, a little too out far out in front. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so excellent job. I see some people making immediate changes in your out of system setting is getting a lot better. Okay, great job. And if you want to play high level volleyball, we got to know how to do this. All right. But let's say that we're back in serve receive. Okay. What's your name? Mickey. Mickey's going to be back in serve receive with me. Okay. And let's just say. I accidentally pass the ball and I shank it towards Mickey here. Okay, which never happens because I'm awesome, right? So let's just say let's just say it happens hypothetically. Okay, I shank a ball, it goes to her, and it's too low for her to set. Okay, but our setter can't get to the ball. She's calling for help. Mickey's gonna step in and she's gonna bump this bump set the ball outside. Okay, everyone say bump set. Bump set. Second coolest word. I think spikes number one, bump set number two. Okay, uh, but anyways, let's get to a bump set. Okay, with the bump set, it's the same concept applies. What Mickey's gonna do, can I see the ball please? Thank you. Okay, she's going to position herself underneath the ball. Okay, so Mickey is going to get underneath the ball and she is going to, so that's body position, right? And then she's gonna use her body together. Okay, she's gonna use her legs to generate power and control as she uses her arms to contact the ball. Okay, so let's say I'm back here in serve receive. Our setter is somewhere in, in position four. I accidentally shank it. Mickey steps in. She's like, I was at Tom's clinic. I understand what's going on. I got it. Everyone calm down. I'm about to bump set. Okay, so the ball's over here. So she's gonna position herself underneath. Okay, and she's gonna use her legs and arms together to control the ball. Did everyone see that? So she's just not wildly swinging her arms, okay, with her legs locked out. Okay, she's using her legs as she contacts the ball with her arms to control the ball. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our courts and we're gonna go through it really fast. Set to ourselves, set outside, and we're gonna do that for like 30 seconds. And I'm gonna say one contact setting, and then I want us to do one contact bump setting. And I want us to work on positioning ourselves underneath the ball, body position, and body together. Everyone understand? So we have like literally two and a half minutes left of this, and let's perfect it. Okay, body position, body together. Let's go back to our courts. Here we go. Body position, body together. Use your legs. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, that's getting better. Addy, right? Okay. Okay, good. That's getting better. Make sure you use your legs. A little bit legs. One contact. One contact setting. Body position. Body together. Use your legs, ladies. Get underneath the ball. Get neutral. Yes, that's a lot better. Mickey, right? Yes. Yes, good job. Good. We use those legs. Nice job. That's okay. Hey, you tried. You tried. Good. That's a lot better. Good. Good, Addy. Okay, a little too far out in front. Okay, that's why it's going low. Let's get underneath the ball. Feel uncomfortable for a little bit. Still too far out in front. Underneath the ball. Underneath. Okay, better. Okay, bump setting, ladies. Bump setting, nice and high. Nice and high. Use your legs and arms together. 
Get underneath the ball. So we learned in system hitting, okay? Now we're gonna learn out of system hitting. Everyone say out of system. Out of system. Okay, so we have a bad first contact, okay? Or let's say we pull the setter way off the net or it's a broken play. We're calling for out of system balls. Okay, out of system on the left pin is gonna be a hut. Everyone say hut. Uh. Okay, out of system on the back pin will be called a C. C. Okay, really good. I didn't have to say that, that was good. Okay, so for out of system, all right, for in system, it's a second step set. Okay, second step tempo. For out of system, we're gonna say wait and see. Everyone say wait and see. So you're basically gonna wait to see the set before you even start your four step approach. Okay, what happens a lot of times is that we have out of system sets and the hitter is already in their second step and now they're having to slow down their approach. Okay, they're gonna stop the momentum. What we wanna do is we wanna get that set nice and high to allow our hitter time to see it Okay, and time to explode in their approach, go up and take a good crack at the ball. Okay, so we want the relationship between the setter and the hitter to always be on point. If we go fast, we want them both to be on the same page. Okay, if the play is broken, we want them both to be on the same page again. Okay, so with their approach out of system, what we'll be looking for is a slow to fast, okay, and little to big. Everyone say slow to fast. Slow to fast. Okay, say little to big. So the momentum of your approach should be slow, to fast, slow getting faster. Your steps should be little, okay, little steps at the beginning to big steps at the end. Okay, so what I wanna see is people increasing their acceleration through the approach by waiting, okay, and having our wonderful setters set a nice high ball. We're not trying to beat the block. We know the block on the other side is gonna be set up. Okay, so we're not trying to fool anyone. We're just trying to have a really good aggressive swing, and that's our goal. Okay, so I'm gonna ask them to wait and see. All right, I'm gonna to toss a nice high out of system set, what we just learned how to set. Okay, and they're gonna to wait to see it, and then I want them to explode in, okay, once they read the tempo and timing. Okay, ready? So just stand up and relax. Okay, so I'm gonna to toss a nice high ball, you'll have plenty of time. Okay. Okay, okay good, that was good slow to fast. Okay, so relax. Ball. Yeah, ball. So we're gonna relax, okay? We're not even starting our first step of our four step approach. Okay, relax, and then as soon as we see it, then I want us to start to drive in, okay? Excellent, that's all right, okay, next up. Okay, good, slow down a little bit. We want to be slow to fast, so relax. See the set, very good. That was a lot better. Did everyone see that approach? Okay, she relaxed, she read the approach, she read the set, she went slow to fast, little to big with her feet, and she had a lot of momentum at the end of that, right? A lot of power. Okay, so that was awesome, and that's what we wanna do. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our courts, okay, and the coaches are gonna go ahead and toss high out of system tosses, and we're gonna wait, see the set, slow to fast, little to big. Everyone understand? Okay, so let's go back to our courts. Excellent, excellent. Okay, awesome. So Larissa's now gonna hit out of system. So pull turn to make you run. Okay. So coming out here, coming out here. So you're gonna be calling for a what, I forget? Hut. Hut, okay. Here we go, ball. Hut, hut. Okay, good. Slow to fast, she's gonna wait and see this set. Okay, we're out of system. Slow to fast. Hut, hut. Excellent job. Okay, she read the set one more time. Okay, we're gonna go slow to fast, so we're not gonna slow down our approach. We're gonna go slow to fast, we're gonna ramp up. Here we go. Hi, Wait hi. and see it, relax. Okay, not bad. Round of applause for Larissa, that was an awesome job. Okay, so we have two different choices. Attackers, you should love this offense, because you get to decide what you want. You just have to relay that communication to your setter, and then be in the right steps at the right time. Okay, so it's a trust relationship between the setter and the hitter. Okay, setter needs to make the set, hitter needs to be in the right spot at the right time. 